Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm recapping my uh, monitoring my beauty purchases for May of 2019. So I'm going to go over the products that I featured in that video with stuff that I hauled uh, for or in the month of May 2019. I'm going to let you know how I feel about them one year on. I'm looking at them right now and I'm like one was a winner and one was what the, like one of the biggest fucking piece of shit items that I purchased in 2019. One of the biggest piece of shit products I have ever purchased hands down. Hands down. So both of these purchases were made at Mecca Land last year. And um, you know, when I looked at my list and I realized like, you know, what I'd purchased and where I'd bought them, I was really, really sad that uh, Mecca Land is most likely not going to be on this year. So yeah, that's, that's sad because Mecca Land was so much fun. I love Mecca Land events. They're fantastic and I look forward to the day when we can get back to normal and uh, potentially have events like that again. So the items that I purchased, we'll talk about the one that I like first. Oh, and the the tag just fell off. There we go. Uh, it's the Hourglass Unreal Lip Gloss in the shade Provoke. So it is a nude color. It's a cool toned nude. And these are really nice lip glosses. So they're not like super sticky. They're not... Um, actually, you know what? Let's, let's put it on. Why didn't I do that? This lipstick that I'm wearing is really nice and uh, very affordable. It's an Ulta 3 lipstick. Um, but I want to put this on. So I would consider these semi-opaque lip glosses. They're not sticky at all. They offer a nice, um, like shine without looking goopy or like, you know, thick and chunky on the lips. Uh, they wear fairly well, not, not super well. Like if, you know, I'm going to go and have lunch after this and obviously it's not going to be there. It's a lip gloss. It's not a magic wand. Uh, they have a minty scent with a very slight minty tingle. It's not like over the top. Uh, but they're really, really nice lip glosses. And I actually pulled this out probably about two months ago and I had it in my handbag for a while there. So this still gets used and I still really enjoy it. I do have another one that I got at Mechaland. It was PR, but I didn't purchase it myself um, I just knew that I really wanted like a nude sort of like a my lips but better type of color um, I would look I would buy more of these they are expensive let me double check their price tag so they're 48 Australian dollars so they're not cheap it's a bougie lip gloss um, it's hourglass so you know there's that uh, they are 5.6 grams so they're bigger, like they contain more product than a Colourpop lip gloss, for example. Um, so it, you know, even if you were like me, where you become kind of semi obsessed with a specific lip product and you might wear it pretty much all day, every day until you finish it, you're probably going to get a few months of use out of this. Like a Colourpop one, I can go through uh, in about a month if I'm dedicating my life to it. Um, so I would expect to probably get at least two months of regular use out of this. But in saying that, I'm using a lip gloss that contains seven mils of product, so or seven grams of product. So it's a little bit more than this, uh, like 1.4 grams more. And I've been using that for months, really, really regularly. Uh, it's been in my project pan for... I don't even know how long now. Three months? Maybe? Something like that. Four? Three. I don't know. Anyway, it contains a fairly decent amount of product in terms of what a lip gloss usually contains. So, look, I wouldn't be going out and buying, like, multiple shades because they're 50 fucking dollars. Uh, but I wouldn't rule it out. I wouldn't rule it out, essentially. I do really, really enjoy that one. I love that colour. Um, and my next item is this trash. So this is the Ciate uh, Jessica Rabbit palette. I actually bought the whole 
the whole set. Do I have the box with the box? Actually, I should, I suppose I need to find the other products, don't I? Because I didn't just buy the palette. Okay, so the other items, which I pretty much, I, I'll admit, I kind of forgot about them. Uh, there was a lipstick, so this is one of their, I don't know, it's one of their glittery fucking things. Like, looks super cool. Um, and I will say, because it's a, a red, um, it's not too bad with its, like, glittery formula. Kind of makes it look a little bit glossy. But the shimmer in it is, like, a mixture of gold and pink. So it's kind of like you've got cool tone and warm tone micro shimmer in it, which I feel... It's just like, it makes it look confused and not as punchy as it potentially could be. Uh, I will say in terms of, like, I, I hate metallic lipsticks. I, I hate it. I hate it. Um, I think they just, not flattering, especially on me. Um, and I think, like, red metallic lipsticks or even liquid lipsticks or lip glosses, they're probably the ones that I think look the best and are the most wearable or easy to wear and can be the most flattering. But yeah, I feel like because it contains gold, which is really warm, and then like a bright pink, which is very cool, um, it looks confused. Confused and sad. Um, so I don't like it. I love the packaging, um, but I'm never going to wear it. And what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, I love the packaging. I love the set. I think I'm going to declutter it because I'm never going to wear it. Never. I will. Yeah, I think I have to just get rid of it because, you know, there's that. Um, oh, this palette, like... I'm just like squeezing the sides because this is like really like shitty fucking thin crappy bendy plastic this part that's in like listen to it it's fucking what are you this is the most oh just mm, what were you even thinking Ciate? like this is such a fucking mistake this is such an embarrassment to the brand Oh my actual god. So I was really excited about this collection because I fucking love the movie Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I love it. I grew up watching it. Totally not appropriate but I didn't realize that at the time. When you're a kid you don't you don't notice the innuendos. You don't know about any of that stuff. My parents loved the movie. My brother and sister who were older than me much older than me, loved the movie. Um, so we actually, like, I remember seeing it quite often when I was a kid. But to me, it was just magic because it was like a combination of real people and cartoons. And in my little mind, my little kid mind, I was like, this is like my dream come true. Like, cartoons and people, like, together, just amazing. So anyway, loved the movie and I was really excited about this collection and it's just mostly shit. So this palette, uh, three mattes and then six metallics. Um, Love Letter should have been like the second coming of Jesus but it's just not. It's They're lame. They are crappy crappy formulas. The mattes are really powdery and have like no fucking pigmentation. Like what is this? It's just sad looking. Like, you're just sad. And they're powdery as hell. Like, can we, can we see this, like, powder chunk? Yuck. Yuck! The, um, the metallic-y shimmery shades, they're really difficult to pick up with a brush. They seal in the pan, um, and then they, like, don't even grip to the eye. I'm sure you could use, like, a glitter glue for better results, but... I'm just not about that. I'm not about it. Like, if your formula, if you have a product that is designed to go on a specific area of the face and then it doesn't actually stick to the fucking face, 
you've already failed. It's like having a, a lipstick that you go to swipe onto your lips and it's not transferring onto the lips. Like, it, it's fucking... Who let this out of the fucking dungeon? Who's, who sat down and said, yep, this formula is good? Who? Who? Because that person should be fired because this is crap. This is absolute rubbish. And I'm really, really sad, but realistically, I have to get rid of it because it's unusable. It's unusable. The packaging is awesome. I love that. Maybe I would be able to like, ooh, maybe I could like dig all this shit out and use it as a cigarette case. That'd be great if I still smoke cigarettes. I don't. I vape now. There we go. I wonder if I can, let's do, mm. Mm. oh yeah, okay, so it'll just like, just pop, pop right out. Although, what am I even going to use the case for? I don't know. Um, by the way, I wouldn't actually give this to someone. I would throw it away. So that's why I'm not like bothered um, destroying it. Because it's, it's unusable. Who am I going to give it to? I don't know anyone who wants makeup that can't be used. Wow. Oh my god. Okay, so that literally, like, I, it flung out. And check this out. It stayed intact. <laughs> How good's that? So, that's what it looks like. That's, that's what it looks like. There we go. Um, I'm just going to throw these in the bin. There we go. And uh, this is what I'm left with on the inside. It's got one of those, like, sticky sheets. Maybe I should take up smoking again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. But there we go. Got the case. Um, I don't actually know what I would use this for, but if I can get that sticky shit out, which I should be able to, um, just with maybe some like oil or something, I can totally use that for something. <laughs> All right. This I'll hold on to for now. Um, if I can't find a purpose for it, I will get rid of it. There we go. Impromptu makeup breakup. Yay. Uh, all right. And then there's a highlighter. So this is a Roger Darling highlighter. I actually don't even remember what I think of this. What did I think of it? I don't know. Let's put some on. I've already got a shitload of highlighter on, but you know, a little bit more won't hurt. Oh yes. Okay. She's pretty. All right. There we go. She stays. It's the only actual makeup item that I'm keeping from the collection. Um, because, you know, the rest of it was shit. So sad. Such a sad, sad, pathetic little collection. But, you know, it is what it is. So I do have, uh, regret with that purchase. Um, because most of, like, it's just not, it's not good. Like, this is just so woefully bad. Um, and it's burnt me for Ciate because I'm kind of, now I'm like, I don't trust that they are going to create an amazing formula, um, or more that they're going to let a shit formula slide into a release, essentially. Like, I just don't really, I don't trust them. I don't trust them because whoever, whoever, like, sat down and gave this the tick of approval formula wise like I don't think like who even are they what are they doing like I if you bought this if you bought this and you liked it and you like get along really well with the formula let me know let me know because like Everyone likes different things, but I, I look, I'm looking in there to see, like, look at the colors again. No, it's gone. Um, everyone's different. Everyone likes different formulas. You know, they, um, they work with their makeup differently. You could definitely have applied this with a finger, but I'm, I've never been a finger application person because I've got small eyelids and like, I like control. I don't want fucking eyeshadow up near my eyebrow. Um, I want 
I want control when I'm applying it. So I use small brushes to get that control. But also that only goes for the metallics that are in there. The mats, what are you going to do? Apply a fucking mat with your finger? No, it's like, I mean, you can if you really want to, but I don't know many people who do that. Um, also the fact that the mats have like no color payoff. The formula is bad. The formula is bad. I don't even know why I'm trying to justify it for Ciate. The formula is fucking bad. So that was it. They were my purchases for May 2019. Um, I will be back next month with another recap of my uh, June June purchases for 2019. Can you believe that we're like almost halfway through the year? It's pretty crazy, isn't it? And we spent the majority of it in fucking lockdown. Yay, 2020. That can fuck right off. All right, guys, I'm gonna go. I hope you're all doing well and I will see you in the next one. Bye.